This might look like a scene from the planet Arrakis in James Herbert's Dune, but it's actually the Sahara Desert in Mauritania. The formation, officially called the Rishat structure, but also known as the Eye of the Sahara, is about 50 kilometers in diameter, and it was imaged here by the Copernicus Sentinel-2 mission in September of 2025. It's actually so large that it's more easily observed from space, and is apparently a well-known landmark for astronauts. A few people also believe it's the lost city of Atlantis, and whilst there's zero scientific evidence for this, I'm sure I'll be hearing about that in the comments. Previously thought to be a meteorite impact crater, scientists now agree that it was caused by the uplift of a large dome of molten rock at least 100 million years ago that's since been weathered and eroded by wind and sand into the structure we see today. The different rocks that form the structure have been eroded at different rates, and while you get a bit of a sense of that from the naturally colored image that we've been looking at so far, this false color image really brings out some of the details. Less easily eroded quartzite sandstones are red and pink in this image, with more easily eroded rocks forming valleys shown in darker colors. The central rings of the eye structure are around 80 meters tall. There are highlands that show up as dark red beyond the eye structure, and those are about 200 meters or so high. It's maybe a bit easier to visualize things in three dimensions with this Landsat image. This is an amazing structure here on Earth, and I must admit I knew little about it until I saw these ESA images. Hope you enjoyed learning a bit about the research structure and the important work that Earth observing satellites like Copernicus Sentinel 2 are doing. If you did, please drop a like and subscribe to the channel. That's today's video. I'll catch you in the next one.